Okay, this is a little bonus video. Um, anyone who wanted, who liked the idea of graphing, um, we don't normally focus on that. So I put a get together a few examples if you want to practice a few more. Um, this is a Desmos activity, you can find it. Um, we can, I'm going to talk through the answers. So I write the equation of a line with slope three quarters that goes through four negative two. So first of all, I've got to find four negative two. There we go. And then a slope of three quarters, this is rise over run. So I'm going up three squares and I'm going across four squares. Now you'll notice straight away that I'm moving away from the x-axis, uh, y-axis. So actually I probably wanna do the opposite here. So instead of going up three, I wanna go down three. And instead of going right four, I wanna go left four. Now there's technically nothing wrong with what we did here anyway. We can just join this up and you'll see the same thing. You can see that it goes through negative five. So my answer for this one would be three quarters x plus, I'm oh, sorry, minus five, whoops. We've got a little check in there. There we go. We can see that that goes through that point just fine. Uh, start at negative two, three this time. So negative two, uh, three, and a slope of negative one half. And when a negative's here, it means it only applies to the top number here. So I'm gonna go down one, and I'm gonna go right two, and I'm right on the axis already. So negative one over two x plus three, Oh, plus two, I can't see the pattern right now for some reason. There we go. Uh, X intercept to negative six. So that's negative six, zero. Or I can just make sure I click negative six on the X axis. Slope of two thirds, rise of two and a run of three, rise of two and a run of three. And we can see that this one goes through four. I'm going to check a little more carefully this time. Four on the Y axis and we get that two. Uh, six two is over here. Negative one quarter means I go down one and then across four. So I'm going to want to do the reverse to get back to the axis. So I'm going to go up one and then I'm going to go left four. Up one and then left four. And notice I don't get exactly to the axis this time. Uh, it looks like it's between two numbers, one, two, three. It looks like it's between three and four, and it looks like it's halfway. So I'm going to go with, whoops, don't need an extra few there. Negative one quarter X plus, I'm going to put 3.5. It actually says that's fine. Um, I actually know if you type in 3.5 and use your fraction to decimal converter, it'll say seven over two, and you can see that it also likes that answer as well. Now, here's the ones where we actually have two points together. So one, five and oops get rid of that I one five and negative two negative four and let me join those up certainly it looks like it goes through two so why oops looks like plus two on the end and then for my slope it looks like then from here it goes up one, two, three, and across one. So, so it looks like it's a slope of three over one, which is three. And you can see, therefore, that is correct. At negative four, negative seven is down here. Six, negative two is there. And I'm going to go ahead and join those up. So it goes through negative five. I can see that. Uh, one, up two. And then across one, two, three, four. So two over four, I know that's the same as one over two. So that's one half. And I can see it went through negative five as well. And you can indeed see that line goes through those two points. So we know we're good for here as well. I write the equation line that passes through the point eight, seven, eight, seven. And the origin, well, we already know the wine set for this one straight away because it's zero. So I'm just counting squares. So I'm going up seven and across eight. So this is y equals seven over eight x. And it already says I'm right. I don't need to put the plus zero. So I'm going to give you that one as well. And that's actually the video. Um, I think I had the ones in just so we could actually check what the answers were if we needed to. And you can see that this one is perfectly good. And I will just click through just to make sure we get the correct answer.
If you wanted to do the um, by slope, you can actually do the counting here as well. So rather than doing this starting from here, I actually did the two points. I counted up nine and across three, which I found was three as well. So if you're not confident in looking for small parts, just count out the whole triangle and that will also give you the answer as well. Same for here, you could count up five across 10, simplify to get one half if you don't notice that it goes up one and across two. And we already did that one there. That's it, just a little bit of extra practice for those of you who like the idea of graphing rather than solving algebraically. Just remember, sometimes though, when particularly when we have fractions, the graphing method might not be as accurate, or if we have points that are a long way away from the origin, that might not be the best method.